Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I am one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video today. Um, it's lovely to be back on your screens. It's been a little while since I've uh, done this, so I kind of feel like I'm starting all over again. <laughs> um, so you can see this particular patient has come to see me, really, really blocked up in both ears. Uh, bless her, it's, it's been in there for a little while as well. She's been struggling for quite a while. Now, what we've got in these ear canals, in both ear canals, is a mixture of dead skin and wax. So this lighter material at the entrance here is, is where we've kind of got this casing of dead skin, which is almost quite brittle. Now, what I mean by brittle is the it's it's quite dry, so you can see we're actually struggling to get a suction grip on this, this piece of wax that's in here. Uh, and it just kind of breaks away in little pieces, so that's what we mean by, by brittle. So Jobson Horn is coming into play here now, which is uh, quite nice to see an appearance of, which we don't really see on the, on the channel these days very often. But we're going to pop in, we're going to try and nip in just behind this plug of wax. Now we're going we're gonna to just basically try and roll this forwards. Now you can see where this deeper section is a little bit more on the soft side. We've just started creating a little trench in this now, so we're gonna to need to try and dig the jobs and horn into the wax to start moving this whole plug forward. It's, I, oh, it's, oh, it's always horrible when you see the, the wax starting to break apart when it's pulling forwards. <laughs> so we're just doing the same thing. We've pulled it forwards, we're gonna nip behind gently roll this out and you can see the, the color difference actually of this wax where, where this has been in there for so long so this is more of the oxidized wax that has just started to darken in color so we've almost got quite a a, a lighter yellowy color uh, at the entrance and then we've got a darker sort of chestnut color at the back so this plug has been removed patient already hearing so much better um, yeah, there we go. You can see the eardrum nice and clearly there, but we are just going to nip in now with the fine end, which is the smaller suction tube. Just to clear these little bits away. Now, the fine end is a lot nicer in regards to sound. The, the, the standard size Zollner tube that we do use uh, is sounds a lot louder than the strength, if that kind of makes any sense. It's quite a weak suction that we use, but it sounds a lot stronger. So the fine end is nice to just keep the noise down slightly, and it also helps us to be a bit more precise. So there we go, gonna clear away these last little bits. Eardrum, as I said, looking nice and healthy. Patient already hearing so much better, and relieved, <laughs> which was nice. So that was before, and this is the after shot. Uh, we've got exactly the same story on the other side. So complete blockage in both sides. We're gonna start with the standard size Zollner tube this side as well. Sorry if I sound a bit husky, guys. It's been really, really, really busy in clinic today and uh, I'm doing this just before my lunch. So I'm uh, uh, trying to trying to keep my voice as, as clear as possible. <clears throat> so we're trying on this side, we're trying to just hold the suction onto this plug. And what I'm hoping that's going to do, as it, as it increases the pressure, as we get that suction grip, I'm hoping it's just going to start rolling forwards. Now again, this is where that brittle effect kind of comes into play here. You'll just see there's going to be little pieces that are going to start breaking away. There we go. There's the first little bit that we've just managed to break away. We're just popping back in. I'm going to start again here now with the same, yeah, same same section. And this is where I'm just kind of, you can see me kind of gently pulling downwards. And what I'm, what I'm doing here is, as you pull forwards with the suction as well, that should technically start rolling this. Now you can see the whole thing starting to move already. Now this particular patient has actually been using some oil as well, but in some cases you do kind of see the wax and skin that kind of gets beyond that point of softening. Um, and we do get a lot of patients as well that do use cotton wool at the same time as the oil, which is not really a good thing to do because what the cotton wool will do as you put the oil in, it's just going to absorb everything you've just put in there. So it's just going to 
completely negate everything that you, you the job that you're trying to do is softening that wax so we're starting to get some movement on this plug here now this is a this is a slightly softer uh, plug on this side and you can see it's really putting up a fight for us they <laughs> quite painstaking these ones guys sorry <laughs> Believe it or not, we are actually, I am actually trying <laughs> trying my best to get this to move without causing any discomfort or pain to the patient. Uh, don't forget guys, well, while we're watching this plug coming out of the ear, if you do like the videos uh, and, you know, this is something that you, that really kind of entertains you uh give us a like give us a share you know if you're watching on tiktok give us a heart you know give us a follow do all the usual things uh but if you're interested in actually booking an appointment in to see us guys there should be a link underneath to our website uh with our contact details so give us a ring and we're more than happy to see you so here we go we get we're getting some movement here now this whole plug is starting to roll forwards a little bit of a wiggle here now we're coming to the end of the road <laughs> with this one. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> this is always hard, this one. I always hate these little bits when these bigger sections of whack just get stuck right at the entrance. You need to really, really give it a good old wiggle. So you can see here now we've got, it's still a little bit messy in here. We've got these really, really soft pieces here now. But the, the patient already reported hearing so much better. The patient actually thought I'd finished at this point. Uh, but we've got the fine end on here now, uh, just to clear up these last softer pieces. These bigger pieces that we're taking away here now, the, we, we will always take away these bigger pieces, but the tiny little spots that you can see that are still kind of on the eardrum or on the ear canal itself, we're not overly concerned about it's you know we want to try and be in the ear as as for as little time as possible because the, the suction will always or not always but there's always a chance that with the suction that we use um can induce what we call a temporary threshold shift so in some cases uh some people actually feel like uh their hearing kind of gets a little bit more dull you know even after the wax comes out which it will come back to its normal self after sort of 10 15 minutes or so uh, but that's why we need to be in the ear as little as possible. We obviously don't want that to happen. So what I'm doing at this last little bit, I could see just where the sort of anterior recess is, or the, the, the sort of, you know, the little bend that you can see there. I'm just trying to hold on the suction grip to try and pull that, that deeper section forwards, which it kind of has here. So we're just going to clear the suction tube, just got a bit of a blockage. Just taking this last bit. And I think we take the little bit in the corner of the eardrum there as well. Sorry guys, this is like literally one of the first times I've seen this video myself as well. I recorded it a couple of weeks ago. So I, what we would normally suggest for most patients in this case, uh, where there's little tiny uh, pieces left, we would usually suggest the patient continue with a medical grade olive oil, uh, but only about once a month and just at night, just to help with the migration process, just to help these little bits kind of start coming out naturally by itself. And very, very sensitive area this. So this is why we're going so slow here. So those little tiny pieces, as I said, we are gonna leave there. So that was before, this is after. Uh, and we've got just about an inch, so it, uh, it seemed like a lot more. But <laughs> so yeah, we've got uh, just over an inch. We've got two and a half centimeters there, guys. Uh, well, uh, yeah, as I said at the start, guys, it's lovely to be back on the screen. It's uh, felt like an age since, I, since I've been on. Um, but I shall see you now, I believe, in tomorrow's video as well. So I shall, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow.